Hello, we will deep dive today about concurrent schedules, multiple schedules, and chain schedule and examples in the compound schedules of reinforcement. First of all, let's look concurrent schedules for reinforcement. Concurrent schedules of reinforcement occur when two or more reinforcement schedules are available at the same time, and the individual can choose which one to respond to. It's like having multiple options available and being able to decide which task you want to do based on the rewards each one offers. To simplify when you have two or more choices for activities, each with its own reward, and you can choose which one to do. Okay, let's see multiple schedules of reinforcement. Multiple schedules of reinforcement involve alternating between two or more different reinforcement schedules each associated with a different stimulus signal. The schedule changes after a certain amount of time or number of responses, and the individual learns to respond differently based on the cue that signals which schedule is in effect. Key point is different rules for rewards at play at different times, and these rules change based on a signal or cue you can see or hear. Lastly, Chain schedules of reinforcement involve a series of two or more simple schedules, each with its own stimulus and the last of which results in a terminal reinforcement. The individual must complete the response required by each schedule in the chain to receive the final reward. Key point is to get a reward, you need to complete a series of tasks, each leading to the next until you reach the final goal. Let's deep dive with some examples. This is about concurrent schedules of reinforcement. Choosing activities, a child has the option to either clean their room for a small reward, like 15 minutes of extra screen time, or finish their homework for a larger reward, like an hour of extra screen time. They can choose which task to complete based on the reward they prefer. Workplace incentives an employee can choose between completing a short, easy task for a small bonus or taking on a longer, more challenging project for a significant bonus. Their choice depends on the reward they find more motivating. Shopping loyalty programs A shopper has loyalty cards for multiple stores. One store offers a five cashback reward, while another offers points towards free products. The shopper chooses where to shop based on the rewards they value more. Imagine you're at an arcade with a limited number of tokens. You can choose to play a game that gives tickets based on luck, or a skill game that rewards you with tickets if you score high. You decide which game to play based on what you think will give you more tickets rewards. Choosing between snacks. Imagine you're at a party with two bowls of snacks in front of you. One bowl has chips, and the other has cookies. You can choose to eat from either bowl. Your choice depends on which snack you prefer more at that moment. Video games versus homework. You have an hour of free time before dinner. You can either play your favorite video game or do your homework, each with its own reward. Playing the game offers immediate fun, while completing homework promises no nagging from parents later. This is about multiple schedules of reinforcement. Classroom settings a teacher uses a system where students earn gold stars for participation. Fixed ratio schedule during math lessons and stickers for good behavior fixed interval schedule during reading time. The type of reinforcement depends on the subject being taught. Therapy sessions in behavior therapy. A therapist might alternate between different reinforcement schedules for social interaction. Immediate praise for initiating conversation, fixed ratio, and random checks, with rewards for maintaining eye contact during a session variable interval. Traffic control traffic lights operate on a multiple schedule, green lights allow cars to move signal for go, and red lights require them to stop signal for stop with varying intervals depending on traffic flow and time of day. It's like having a class where your teacher says, if I wear a red shirt, you get a point for every correct answer. 
but if I wear a blue shirt, you get points for trying, no matter if you're right or wrong. The shirt color is the signal for which rule is in effect. Pet training with whistles. You're training your dog with two different whistles. When you blow the first whistle, your dog gets a treat for sitting. When you blow the second whistle, it gets a treat for fetching a ball. The whistle sound signals which action is rewarded. Classroom rules on some days, your teacher gives out stickers for every right answer. During math quizzes with fixed ratio. On other days, you get extra recess time for just participating in class discussions. Regardless of whether your answers are correct, the teacher announces which rule applies each day. These examples are about chain schedules of reinforcement. Cooking a meal. To enjoy a delicious dinner terminal reinforcement, you must first gather ingredients first schedule, then prepare them second schedule, cook the meal third schedule, and finally set the table fourth schedule. Each step is a part of the chain leading to the reward. Graduating from college. Earning a degree terminal reinforcement involves completing a series of steps finishing each course. Individual schedules, passing exams more schedules, and completing a final project or thesis final schedule. Each step must be completed to move on to the next and ultimately graduate. Completing a video game to finish a game terminal reinforcement. A player might need to complete levels in order each level is a schedule with each level requiring different tasks or challenges. Completing each level is necessary to progress to the end of the game. Think of making a sandwich as your reward. First, you need to get bread first task, then add your favorite spread second task, followed by other ingredients like lettuce or tomato third task, and finally, put the top slice of bread on fourth task. Completing each step is necessary to enjoy your sandwich. Think of making a sandwich as your reward. First, you need to get bread first task, then add your favorite spread second task, followed by other ingredients like lettuce or tomato third task, and finally, put the top slice of bread on fourth task. Completing each step is necessary to enjoy your sandwich. Library book checkout to borrow a book from the library. You first find the book you want step 1. Then take it to the checkout desk step 2, and finally show your library card to the librarian step 3. Completing these steps allows you to take the book home. Now we can practice with some mock exams. Mock exam 1. Jamie has two mobile apps to practice language. Learning Langfest rewards her with points for every 5 minutes of practice and Vocab Builder gives random points after each session, which could last from 1 to 10 minutes. She can use the points from both apps to unlock advanced lessons. Given her goal to maximize her points to unlock lessons as quickly as possible, she decides which app to use during her study time. Question what concept does Jamie's decision-making process illustrate? One multiple schedules of reinforcement. Two chained schedules of reinforcement. Three concurrent schedules of reinforcement. Four fixed ratio reinforcement. The correct answer is three. Concurrent schedules of reinforcement. Jamie's decision making process between using Langfest and Vocabuilder is based on the availability of two different reinforcement schedules at the same time. She can choose either app to earn points, with each app having its own schedule for reward delivery. Her choice is influenced by which app she believes will maximize her points faster. This scenario illustrates concurrent schedules of reinforcement. Because Jamie has the freedom to choose between two different activities, each with its own reinforcement schedule to achieve her goal. The key aspect of concurrent schedules of reinforcement is the simultaneous availability of more than one reinforcement schedule. 
allowing the individual to choose which schedule or activity to engage in. Jamie's situation perfectly fits this definition, as she is making a choice between two competing schedules. Mock Exam 2. For a software engineer, launching a new app involves several critical steps coding the app Step 1, testing for bugs Step 2, and marketing it to potential users Step 3. Each step must be completed in order to successfully launch the app. What concept does the process of launching a new app illustrate? One variable ratio reinforcement. Two chained schedules of reinforcement. Three concurrent schedules of reinforcement. Four multiple schedules of reinforcement. The answer is two. Chain schedules of reinforcement. These mock exam questions aim to help students understand and differentiate between the concepts of concurrent schedules, multiple schedules, and chain schedules of reinforcement through practical and relatable scenarios. Mock exam 3. To prepare for a big game, a soccer team must first complete a series of drills. Initially, they start with warm-up exercises step 1, followed by passing drills step 2, and finally, they practice shooting goals step 3. Successfully completing all three steps allows them to play a scrimmage game, which they all look forward to. What does this preparation routine exemplify? One concurrent schedules of reinforcement. Two multiple schedules of reinforcement. Three chained schedules of reinforcement. Four fixed interval reinforcement. The correct answer is three. Chained schedules of reinforcement. The soccer team's preparation routine involves completing a sequence of tests, warm up exercises, passing drills, shooting goals where each task must be completed to move to the next, culminating in the opportunity to play a scrimmage game. This sequence of behaviors, where each behavior in the chain provides the necessary condition for the next behavior, and the final behavior leads to a terminal reinforcement. Playing the game exemplifies chained schedules of reinforcement. Chained schedules of reinforcement involve a series of discrete tasks or behaviors that must be completed in a specific order to achieve a final reward. The soccer team's preparation routine requires completing each step in the chain to access the final reward. Fitting the definition of a chained schedule of reinforcement. Mock exam 4. Lisa has a part-time job where she can choose between two tasks each day organizing stock, which pays a steady rate for each hour worked or making sales, where she earns commission based on the amount sold. Her choice is influenced by whether she needs consistent earnings or feels lucky enough to make more through sales. Which reinforcement schedule concept does Lisa's choice between tasks most closely relate to? One change schedules of reinforcement. Two multiple schedules of reinforcement. Three concurrent schedules of reinforcement. Four variable ratio reinforcement. The correct answer is three. Concurrent schedules of reinforcement. Liz's choice between organizing stock for a steady rate or making sales for a commission presents her with two concurrent options for earning money, each with its own rate of reinforcement. Her decision is based on her preference or need at the moment consistent earnings is the potential for higher earnings through sales. This scenario reflects concurrent schedules of reinforcement because Lisa has to choose between two available tasks, each with its own reinforcement plan. The essence of concurrent schedules of reinforcement is the availability of choices between two or more reinforcement schedules allowing the individual to select which schedule to follow. Lisa's situation, where she chooses daily between two types of work based on their reinforcement schedules, 
aligns with the concept of concurrent schedules of reinforcement. Demonstrating her freedom to select between competing options for reinforcement. Mock Exam 5. Alex has a free Saturday and two main hobbies playing guitar and painting. He decides to spend his day doing one of these activities. Because each offers a sense of satisfaction and improvement in skills. However, he can't decide which hobby to pursue since both are equally rewarding. What concept is best illustrated by Alex's decision-making process between two rewarding activities? One fixed interval, reinforcement. Two concurrent schedules of reinforcement. Three chained schedules of reinforcement. Four multiple schedules of reinforcement. Correct answer is two. Concurrent schedules of reinforcement. Alexa's decision-making process between playing guitar and painting is an example of concurrent schedules of reinforcement because he must choose between two activities that both offer reward satisfaction and skill improvement. This scenario illustrates how individuals make choices between simultaneously available reinforcement schedules, each associated with its own unique schedule of reinforcement. Mock Exam 6 Sarah needs to choose how to earn extra credit for her science class. She can either complete a detailed research project on a topic of her choice option or participate in weekly science quizzes option B, with each option offering a different number of extra credit points. Which of the following concepts does Sarah's choice between two different extra credit options demonstrate? One variable ratio reinforcement. Two chained schedules of reinforcement. Three multiple schedules of reinforcement. Four concurrent schedules of reinforcement. Correct answer is four. Concurrent schedules of reinforcement. Sarah's choice between completing a research project or participating in weekly quizzes for extra credit represents concurrent schedules of reinforcement. She is presented with two distinct options for earning extra credit, each with its own reinforcement schedule points for the project is points for quizzes, requiring her to choose which activity to engage in based on the potential rewards. Mock XM7. In a new training program, a dog trainer uses a whistle with different tones to signal to a dog when to sit or fetch. One tone means the dog gets a treat for sitting, and another tone indicates a treat for fetching. The tones change unpredictably throughout the training session. What does this training method exemplify? One change schedules of reinforcement. Two concurrent schedules of reinforcement. Three multiple schedules of reinforcement. Four fixed ratio reinforcement. Correct answer is three multiple schedules of reinforcement. The dog trainer's use of different whistle tones to signal when to sit or fetch. With each behavior being reinforced in different conditions, exemplifies multiple schedules of reinforcement. This is because the reinforcement schedule changes based on the signal whistle tone, and the dog must adjust its behavior according to the schedule currently in effect. Mock XM8. A fitness app offers rewards for completing exercise goals. On some days, the reward is based on the number of steps taken fixed goal signaled by a green screen. On other days, the reward comes from the total exercise time variable goal indicated by a blue screen. Which reinforcement concept is being applied by the fitness app? One multiple schedules of reinforcement. Two concurrent schedules of reinforcement. Three chained schedules of reinforcement. Four variable interval reinforcement. Correct ANSI is a multiple schedules of reinforcement. The fitness app's varying rewards based on the day's goal steps taken is 
Total exercise time, signaled by different screen colors, is an example of multiple schedules of reinforcement. The changing criteria for rewards, indicated by the screen color, require the user to adapt their behavior to the schedule that is in effect at that time. Mock Exam 9. For a software engineer, launching a new app involves several critical steps coding the app Step 1, testing for bugs Step 2, and marketing it to potential users Step 3. Each step must be completed in order to successfully launch the app. What concept does the process of launching a new app illustrate? One variable ratio reinforcement, two chained schedules of reinforcement, three concurrent schedules of reinforcement, four multiple schedules of reinforcement. Correct answer is two chained schedules of reinforcement. The process of launching a new app involves completing a series of steps coding, testing, marketing in a specific order, with the successful completion of each step required to proceed to the next. This scenario is an example of a chained schedule of reinforcement. Because the reward launching the app is only obtained after the entire sequence of behaviors is completed. Demonstrating how complex behaviors can be built up by linking together simpler actions in a chain. Mock exam 10 to bake a cake. Jana must first mix the ingredients step 1, then bake the mixture step 2, and finally, decorate the cake step 3. Completing all steps successfully results in a delicious cake to enjoy. Jana's cake baking process is an example of which concept? One multiple schedules of reinforcement two. Chain schedules of reinforcement three concurrent schedules of reinforcement four fixed interval reinforcement. Correct answer is two chain schedules of reinforcement. Jenna's cake baking process is a classic example of a chain schedule of reinforcement. Because completing each step in the process. Mixing, baking, decorating is necessary before moving on to the next with the final reward. Enjoying the cake contingent upon the completion of all steps. This illustrates how behaviors link together in a sequence, where each step must be completed to access the next, culminate in a final reward. Mock Exam 11 in Mr. Smith's class Students receive gold stars for completing math problems correctly when a green light is on. When the red light is on, students get stars simply for participating, regardless of accuracy. The light changes color every 20 minutes. Which concept best describes Mr. Smith's approach to rewarding students? One chain schedules of reinforcement, two concurrent schedules of reinforcement, three. Multiple schedules of reinforcement for variable interval reinforcement. The answer is three. Multiple schedules of reinforcement. Mr. Smith's classroom strategy involves alternating reinforcement conditions based on a signal the color of the light. When the green light is on, students are reinforced under one condition correct answers, and when the red light is on, the reinforcement condition changes participation regardless of accuracy. This change in reinforcement schedules based on a distinct cue light color is characteristic of multiple schedules of reinforcement. Multiple schedules of reinforcement are defined by the presence of two or more reinforcement schedules, each signaled by a different stimulus with only one schedule in effect at a time. Mr. Smith's use of green and red lights to signal which reinforcement schedule is active is a textbook example of this concept. Mock exam 12 you're at an amusement park with two attractions, open the Ferris wheel and the roller coaster. You have a ticket that can be used for either ride but only enough time to go on one. The Ferris wheel offers a relaxing experience with a great view. 
while the roller coaster promises an adrenaline rush with fast turns and drops. Which of the following best describes this scenario? 1. Multiple schedule of reinforcement 2. Chain schedule of reinforcement 3. Concurrent schedule of reinforcement 4. Fixed interval schedule of reinforcement Correct answer is 3. Concurrent schedule of reinforcement. This scenario exemplifies the concurrent schedules of reinforcement because you have two options. Ferris wheel or roller coaster. Each with its own associated reward and you must choose between them. Mock exam 13 in a new teaching method. A teacher uses a green light to signal a period where students earn points for every correct answer they shout out. When the light turns red, students earn points by quietly writing down the correct answers. The lights change at random intervals. What type of reinforcement schedule is being used? One variable ratio schedule, two concurrent schedule of reinforcement, three multiple schedule of reinforcement, four chain schedule of reinforcement. Correct answer is three multiple schedule of reinforcement. This teaching method demonstrates multiple schedules of reinforcement. The change between the green and red light serves as a discriminative stimulus, signaling which reinforcement schedule is currently, in effect shouting out answers is. Writing them down. Mock XM14 you decide to bake a cake. First, you need to mix the ingredients. Once mixed, you pour the batter into a pan. After baking, you let it cool before applying icing. Only after these steps do you finally enjoy eating the cake. Which reinforcement schedule does this process illustrate? One concurrent schedule of reinforcement, two multiple schedule of reinforcement, three chain schedule of reinforcement, four fixed ratio schedule. Correct answer is three chain schedule of reinforcement. Baking a cake involves a series of steps that must be completed in order to achieve the final reward, eating the cake. This process is a clear example of a chain schedule of reinforcement, where each step in the chain needs to be completed before moving on to the next. If you like this video, please hit the like and prescribe buttons. Thank you.